In this video, we will carry out a comparison between two types of compressors, one that operates with our 600A refrigerant, and another that uses our 134A. Let's begin by saying that the equipment incorporating the compressor with our 600A is used in refrigeration and freezing applications, generally with lower cooling capacities. This allows concentrating a smaller amount of our 600A and thus compensating for its flammability. Due to these flammability characteristics, the use of our 600A is especially recommended in new equipment designed specifically for this type of gas. On the other hand, the compressor that works with our 134A, being non-flammable, can be used in a variety of cooling capacities, only in refrigeration and freezing applications. In terms of refrigerant molecules, our 134A, in vapor state, is heavier than our 600A. This means that, with a slight volume step of gas passing through the compressor, several grams of R404A, will be transported. Although our 134A, is less efficient in terms of cooling compared to our 600A, the greater amount of grams passing through the R404A compressor, ensures proper cooling of the product. In contrast, our 600A is less dense, resulting in a lower flow of grams, through the compressor. However, each gram of our 600A, has a higher cooling capacity, which compensates for its lower density. A compressor using our 600A, handles fewer grams of gas, compared to the R134A compressor, but each gram of our 600A, has a higher cooling capacity, than a gram of our 134A. As for oil compatibility, our 600A is compatible with mineral oil, alkyl benzene, and polyolester oil, PO, while the R134A compressor, only uses PO oil. The compressor system, using our 600A gas, is more efficient in terms of consumption, compared to our 134A, for the same cooling capacity. The amount of refrigerant charge, needed in grams with our 134A, to achieve the same cooling effect as our 600A, is much higher. As for the temperature at the compressor outlet, it is observed that practically both discharge temperatures, are equal. Both the R600A compressor and the R134A compressor, can be charged in both liquid and vapor phases, without problems. The size of the capillary tube, for the same cooling capacity of the R600A, and R134A compressors, is completely different. The working pressures of both compressors, are totally different, with the R600A gas, having very low values.